Hi, this is Mr. Kays, and this is 33.3b. 33.3b. We talked uh, last time about the war in Korea, communist threat, aggression to the free part of Korea, South Korea. We're going to do the same thing today for uh, Vietnam. When the Korean War ended in 1953, um, down the <clears throat> coast of East Asia, um, Vietnam was heating up. Now, it had been ruled by the French up until World War II. The Japanese came in, took them over. When the Japanese were kicked out after World War II, the French came back in. And we have a gentleman by the name of Ho Chi Minh. His real name was Nguyen That Than. But he was known um, by his nom de guerre or name of war, Ho Chi Minh, which means he who enlightens. And he's a Vietnamese nationalist. What that means is someone who wants the Vietnamese to rule themselves. That's what a nationalist is. He led communist forces using guerrilla tactics. He led communist forces using guerrilla tactics. G-U-E-R-R-I-L-L-A. Guerrilla tactics. And he's going to be successful. Because his land has got a lot of jungle or woods, uh, he was able to, to win a guerrilla warfare against the French. He defeats the French in 1954. He defeats the French in 1954 <coughs> at a place in no, uh, northern um, Vietnam called Dien Bien Phu. It's a French fortress. It had an airstrip, but it was in a valley. And I don't think that was a pretty good strategy is to have mountains around where your fortress is. The Vietnamese were able to shell the fortress and force the surrender of the fort. The French were able to leave, and not only did they leave Dien Bien Phu, but they also left France, or they left for France. They struggle. The struggle continues versus the United States. So the Vietnamese were able to defeat the French at Dien Bien Phu, but they struggle, struggle to um, they struggle versus the United States. Sorry about that. The French said to the United States, you can come in, you can have at it, we're leaving. Well, the United States did not want Vietnam to fall to the communists. Why? Because of their belief in what's called the domino theory. And that theory believes, is the belief, that if one nation fell to communism in Southeast Asia, if one nation fell to communism in Southeast Asia, they all would. They all would. And that scared the United States. The anti-communist leader, uh, now look at his name here, No Din Ziem, No Din Ziem, anti-communist leader of South Vietnam, he was the friend of the United States. And the problem was his government was not a popular government. He led an unpopular government. He led an unpopular government. Why? Well, he was Catholic and the country was Buddhist. He was anti-communist. Most of his people couldn't care one way or another, if they were communist or not. But he was not really a friend to the people in the countryside. And that's going to cost him um, votes. That's going to cost him support. Because most of Vietnam were rice farmers. A group called the Viet Cong. They were guerrilla, war, they were guerrilla fighters who opposed South Vietnam's government. They were guerrilla fighters who opposed South Vietnam's government. They were South Vietnamese, but they did not like South Vietnam's Vietnamese government. Now, were they communist? Well, the Viet Cong may not have been communist, but they didn't have a choice. They uh, joined the Vietnamese uh, communists in the north, so you have the Viet Minh, the Viet Minh in the north, and the Viet Cong 
that get together in their common hatred of South Vietnamese government. What gives us a right to be here in, the, in uh, Vietnam? Well, it's the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution. In 1964, the United States had been advisors to the South Vietnamese, but they're going to bring in troops, offensive troops, when two U.S. destroyers, two U.S. destroyers were fired upon, were fired upon by North Vietnam. Now, the North Vietnamese boats were small PT boats. The destroyers were larger, but that gave the United States the, the right to be in Vietnam, the right to be in Vietnam. Next time we're going to see what the outcome is. I think you know what the outcome is. This is Mr. K's with 33.3 um, B. See you down the road.